Welcome to Gold's Garage. So this video is a, a part two of uh, one something I started yesterday. I introduced this engine and the uh, and the owner brought it to me to see if uh, what the condition of it is, whether it's worth starting, is it a runnable engine, etc. And uh, I described the process that I would use to uh, determine that. And <clears throat> one thing I did fail to mention uh, in the process, probably the most important part is a leak down test and there's my leak down tester so how that works we pump air into the cylinder and the tester measures it's a Moroso tester measures what percentage of air escapes either through the uh, either intake or exhaust valves or the piston rings and normally in a street engine I check every engine that we build uh, we like to get uh, five to ten percent uh, after the build and hopefully after it gets broken it gets better than that on a reasonable, on a good, on a good bill with a, a well-sealed engine. Uh, in this case, because um, it's a used engine, a couple things: the uh, the crankshaft started and stopped in a random location. So whatever cylinders have valves open, the test is not valid because the air is just going to escape out the open valve. Uh, but for the ones that where the valves are closed, it is meaningful. So I got some meaningful results. They were good, and in a couple cylinders. We had zero leak down. What that means is the piston rings are, are rusted to the cylinder walls and there's no air going by there. I also put uh, a breaker bar on it. I put penetrating oil in it yesterday and let it sit overnight, put a breaker bar on it and this engine is not turning. The other thing with the leak down tester is putting 100 psi of air uh, into the engine, multiply that by the area about 13 square inches and the stroke of the engine and calculate it all it's about equal to about 190 foot pounds of torque trying to push that piston down and I checked every cylinder and none of them moved so the, or none, of the, none of the cylinders were able to uh, make it move so this engine is uh, a very valuable engine it's a 1970 GTO Ram Air 400 engine and uh, it's an iconic valuable engine and once it's built and right now uh, the value is questionable so i have to see what the owner has to say about that uh, one last point i measured in a previous i uh, mentioned in a pre previous video that i worked for trevor culver motorsports so the stock car racing season in ontario started last friday at delaware speedway and uh this was the beginning of the traveling series, the APC late model and uh, super stocks and Trevor Culver came first in the super stock class. It's the number one car and uh, the number on the car is number one and he came number one and he also was a fast qualifier. So good start to the season. We'll be on the track again this Friday uh, at Delaware and, uh, and this will be the beginning of the regular Delaware uh, weekly series racing. So. Check them out, Trevor Culver Motorsports, or come and watch us at Delaware Speedway. Thanks for watching.